Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my friends, and welcome on over back to the Cozy Club. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day, and it's time for me and y'all to have a little bit of a chat. You see, bugs in Disney Sorcerer's Arena is beginning to be a little bit of a problem. You see, I want you to imagine this with me, right? You've got this big, beautiful new house, right? It could be wherever you want, California, New York, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, you're walking around your brand new house, and all of a sudden, you see a cockroach. And you promptly let out an oh, but you know, you kill it or, you know, if you want to be green and all, you can go ahead and, I don't know, save the little demon and you promptly go ahead and move on with your day. However, time goes on, you're enjoying your new house. You saw that one cockroach, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And then all of a sudden you see a family of cockroaches, right? And that's when the, the fear and the anxiety start to set in. You start to get a little bit anxious and you're like, you know what? I'm going to call the exterminator and get rid of this whole thing. Yeah, after all, you don't want more of them coming. You don't want them breeding for heaven's sake. So you call the exterminator. However, the exterminator decides to take about three to six months, depending on the exterminator, to get back to you. Now, at this point, Cozy Club, all hell has taken over. You have a full infestation of these little Satans. The cockroaches are everywhere. There are so many bugs, you don't know what to do. And you know, the damage has been done to your big, beautiful new house, condo, hut, you know, whatever you had in this imaginary metaphor. And you know, the good news is, is you still have the great, beautiful house and it's not irreparable damage. You can definitely still fix this up. You can get rid of the cockroaches and you'll eventually have a beautiful new home. Now, it's gonna take a lot of work. It's gonna take a lot of resources, but you can slowly start chopping at these bugs, getting rid of the cockroaches until you don't have any more, or, you know, obviously be more realistic, very few, even though no one wants, you know, a few cockroaches. You see where I'm going with this? Disney Sorcerer's Arena has a little bit, a major bit of a bug problem. Some are good, some are bad, some are minor, and some are absolutely terrible. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Alrighty, my friends. Well, I've had a video that I've been wanting to make for a very long time, and you know, now is the time. So you see, guys, I freaking love Disney Sorcerer's Arena. I absolutely enjoy making content for, in my opinion, the best Disney game out right now. And besides making tier list, masterclass guides and all those other videos that you guys have come to know and love it's time every now and then for a serious video so i thought to myself allow me to talk about a serious subject in a non-serious way ladies and gentlemen let me present to you the newest dsa game show Go ahead and join me on stage here. We're going to go from character to character, and I'm going to ask you guys, is it bugged? Now, surely I'm going to miss plenty of characters, and there's a lot to, you know, have accounted for, but I decided to talk about at least some of the ones that are prevalent and that I know about. And guys, this is where I'm going to ask you guys to help in one of two ways. Now, first of all, if you guys haven't joined already, we have a dedicated Discord with a channel called Community Bug Bash. I invite you guys to drop any bugs with video image or even just text-based proof of what this bug is. And so maybe the developers can look inside there or comment down below in this video about a bug that you definitely hope that gets fixed or that should be at the highest of priority. If you see one that you're gonna put, go ahead and maybe like that comment. And if you haven't already, guys, go ahead and click that red subscribe button. It only takes a quick second. Now let's go ahead, let's head to the stage and let's start the show. Well, hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Is It Bugged, the newest game show here at the Cozy Club. We're going to be playing a game today, looking at both characters on the screens next to me. Is it bugged or not? I'm going to be telling you if they have a bug currently within the game. And like I said before, guys, there are several bugs that are either minor, major or flat out terrible and we're gonna rank these bugs together now to make sure it's a fair fight and not a full-blown knockout 
We're not going to do any game modes right now. That would be just an unfair fight. We're going to be focusing on the characters specifically. And again, like I said before, there is going to be way more than I'm mentioning today. We're just going to highlight some of them that are impacting our daily play. So for our first character today on Is It Bugged, we've got a legendary that some of you guys know as the Mistress of All Evil. And you know her well. Go ahead and give a welcome to none other than Maleficent. So let's go ahead and ask, is she bugged? Yes, sir. And majorly, guys, we have a couple of bugs here with Maleficent. Now, first of all, her basic attack is not going to be inflicting a stun. It says here in the details that once they have a certain amount of harmful effects, you're going to be, in fact, inflicting stun on your opponent. Uh, I can confirm that this is not going to work. Now, another ability I would like to highlight on the Mistress of All Evil is Cast My Spell that inflicts Enthrall. Now, Commonly, guys, when you cleanse Enthrall, it's supposed to deal devastating damage. However, you notice sometimes characters are not taking damage, and that is because they're being a flip cleansed and not a flat out cleanse. If a character flips a helpful effect or a harmful effect, it is not going to take that damage rather than if they just cleanse it like many of the characters within the game. Now, as far as the Maleficent bug, is it the biggest bug in the world? No, but should it be fixed? Absolutely, yes. Let's go on to our next character. Alrighty, now for our next character on Is It Bugged, we've got the Monsters, Inc. Trio. Now, we're going to be going through all three of them as they all have some sort of a bug at the moment, with the big blue kitty having the least amount of bugs. Let's start out with Mike Wazowski. Now, Mike doesn't have any crazy bugs on his kit, but to highlight what the bug is, right now he is supposed to be giving solely one of the guaranteed crits, and if he can upgrade it, it goes to two. That is currently not working as intended, so Mike Wazowski is not going to be giving that correctly. Again, not a major bug. However, if we go to the purple skinny dinosaur in Randall, ladies and gentlemen, is it bugged? Absolutely, uh, Randall, if you saw the latest masterclass guide, Randall is absolutely bugged, but still a powerhouse. Both of his abilities in the raids are not resetting correctly. Whether it's the big scream extractor or vanishing act, it's having a little bit of an odd thing happening with the bonus turns. Now, if that wasn't enough, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to double your offer, heck, triple it. Randall's basic sneak attack is the biggest issue that we have. Sneak attack, like we have said, is supposed to be scaling and damage as you do damage to raid bosses by a whopping 50% per hit. However, Johnny the Intern had a field day with this one as it is currently lowering your offense by 50% per hit hit terrible bug there absolutely needs to be fixed now lastly for solely nothing too big here to worry about ladies and gentlemen but i want to bring it to y'all's attention and that is going to be with the passive scary feet now it might be with more than just solely i've noticed on the big guy himself but if you notice ursula on the other side of the battlefield and you wonder why most of the time your characters are targeting the eels heck it's a 90% probability that he goes after the eels. That is because, yes, sir, it is absolutely bugged. Now, right now, guys, with this passive, with some assist calling mechanics, they're preferring summonable units, specifically Ursula's eels, and that's really kind of slowing down how this is supposed to work. That stun that Soli does is a major player when it comes to who it's going to affect. And I don't know about you guys, but I want Hercules or Maleficent taking the stun, not one of the eels. Now let's go ahead and get to our next faction that is a notorious group of heroes that you guys know. It is going to be Hercules, guys. And they're supposed to be gods. They should definitely not have any faults, yet they have several. Now, starting out with Pain and Panic, many of you guys Many of you guys are familiar with this one. Stasis at the moment within DSA is up there for one of the biggest bug uh, features, whatever you want to say about it, within the game. Pain and Panic are absolutely riddled with these feature slash bugs between their transformation being very undependable. Sometimes you get them standing on each other's shoulders. Sometimes they don't transform or stasis that at the moment is all but broken. You're not supposed to be getting harmful or helpful effects 
within stasis and this is a major bug this is really ruining a way that you can counter some of the top meta teams and this is definitely an important one that has been broken for coming up on a full year with these characters being released in february pain and panic have even more than that but we'll leave them at that moment let's go ahead and move on to their master the lord of the underworld in hades now hades doesn't have a crazy bugged but ladies and gentlemen is he bugged yes sir he is and that is going to be within his passive guys his passive right here is when he is empowered if he is stunned he's gonna remove that from himself however that is yet to happen we've had this over a year now and hades is remaining to be stunned my guess is they had this so that the underworld lord god himself could counter hercules with the giant pillar however that is yet to be happening as well so hades is definitely bugged in that grouping now as for the rest of the herculean crew a little bit of bugs here and there but nothing too major unless you include you know the big guy in his his invincibility loop feature uh, but we'll go ahead and move on to the next faction Let's go ahead and take a look at the Downtown Heroes, notorious for being one of the biggest factions within the game. And with that, they have several bugs. Now, Tiana, Ian, we'll go quickly through them. Nothing too crazy. If you hit an enthralled opponent, uh, this can be debatable if that enthralled opponent is on your team. They're currently hitting their own teammates. However, Ralph right now is not gaining bonus turns reliably. Poor Ralph is not even great within the raids. This is one of the only features, one of his only moments within this game is going to be in PvP and he's not working correctly within there. And guys, the moment you've all been waiting for, we have your MVP of Is It Bugged? Put your hands together for the man, the myth, the legend in Frozone. Ladies and gentlemen, our man Frozone, Samuel L. Jackson, somewhere out there is rolling in his bed not his grave is not dead rolling in his bed because this man one of the best characters in the game plenty of you guys have invested into him is not working at all our once powerful sorcerers chosen with ice block with the burly bombs that you guys know and love is not giving not one not two zero helpful effects when they are put into the ice block which is slowing down several several clubs within the heroic raids pvp teams and guys if you're free to play and you barely have a character this one needs to be at the top of the list and it hurts my soul that it's been already about a week and this guy has not been fixed guys so go ahead and comment down below for your man frozone to get some love and attention now, also included in these bugs, guys, we have a couple other downtown heroes. Hero Hamada and his basic attack is absolutely bugged. Now, let's go ahead and look through the rest of the uh, downtown heroes. There's a couple others that we can nitpick here, but I want to talk about quickly. Let me allow me to set down my uh, my presenter tool. Let me go ahead and talk about a couple of status effects that need to be worked on. First of all, we have Charmed. You guys have noticed when you kill an enemy or when you're killed yourself and you golden hammer or revive somebody back to life and if they're charmed they're gonna come back charmed again absolutely brutal bugged and that brings us to our next harmful effect in polymorph both of these are gonna be bugged massively and polymorph the worst part about it is very inconsistent you don't know when it's going to happen but every now and then when you try to wand cleanse polymorph on one of your teammates you're going to cleanse it but nothing will happen you're going to be staying a little bit of a c pulp for the rest of the battle making one of your best characters most likely completely useless this is a major bug that needs to be fixed as quick as possible so stasis polymorph and charm all need to be taken a look at now, I've given up on my man, Wally. I've just assumed that he's not going to be able to assist Eve. They're maybe not in love anymore. I don't know the juicy details. That's on another show. Wally is not assisting Eve. Let's go ahead and move on to Beauty and the Beast. We're going to go ahead and talk about the tale as old as time and currently what is going wrong with those two lovers. Now, Beast, really, it's working okay. He was a lot worse back in the day still not in a great spot and that's mainly with him going against other summonable units now beast is already plenty powerful enough and right now 
Beast is gaining 100% turn meter. Probably other turn meter when he's not supposed to. Uh, and it's a big problem, guys. If you have Davy Jones, shut him down against someone like Beast. This needs to be touched up on. Now, lastly, let's talk about Bell, the lover Bell. Bell has a couple of weird bugs with her basic attacking herself. However, one of the biggest is her passive in the Enchanted Mirror. Enchanted Mirror, my friends, is supposed to be giving turn meter to your teammates if you receive a harmful effect. You'll see the animation. She whips out the mirror. However, sometimes, especially with turn meter reduction harmful effects, there is no bonus given to either of your teammates or to the enemy team. With that being said, there's a lot of turn meter kind of weird reduction bugs that aren't happening appropriately with the way that they labeled it in a harmful effect. And that's definitely something that should be adjusted as well. Now let's go ahead and stick with the princess faction and talk about Rapunzel. Now Rapunzel, my friends, is working for the most part. However, the only current major problem with her is in hair snare, reducing 100% of the turn meter. This is not happening on raid bosses and is definitely a huge missing feature that is not going to be on Rapunzel. Now, at this point, I don't even know if I bring up Pocahontas, but Spirit of the Deer has Poca throwing a deer at the beginning of a battle, protecting your teammate. However, is it bugged? Yes, sir, and yes, ma'am, it is. Outside of that opening turn, you're not gonna see Pocahontas use Spirit of the Deer, and uh, that's leaving her on the bench for most of the players. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at someone like uh, King Triton. Is he bugged? Nope, moving on. Great, Dr. F yep, skip those. Skip, yep. Yep, skip those. Great, okay. That is going to do it for Is It Bugged today. We went through a good amount of characters, and some of these don't seem like a huge issue, while others seem like major issues, and that's because of your roster and who you are using, guys. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you guys, but hopefully this is the one and only episode of Is It Bugged that we air. Hopefully they can take some time to squash these bugs and get rid of them so that we can continue to play the game that we all love. Back to you, Cozy. My friends thank you guys so much for coming by today's show and video hopefully you guys enjoyed a little bit of a non-serious approach but on a very serious subject that i wanted to talk about with you guys again comment down below the bugs that you want to have fixed the most and to the dsa dev team guys if you guys are watching this you guys have an awesome game that we all love with a great community however there are some bugs that we really need to tackle I think we need to really just go ahead, maybe pause updates for a week and tackle some of these character bugs so that we can get back to slaying and enjoying the game we love in DSA. Guys, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. And until next time, stay cozy.